Hey, this is Bubbly Pam here, and this is a new special Isabella vlog update. And yeah, driving big time mall and kind of like in a rush too. Today, I've got a meeting. I have my appointment for my biometrics, which they take my fingerprints, whatnot, and. Um, for my residency papers because I am not American. I am Chilean. In 900 feet, but turn left on Garnet Street. Left. I, hate I am Chilean, but I have a green card, so I am allowed to reside in this country because I am I am married to an American man who serves in the military too so that would give me a plus two because he's serving he's active duty so an update after the devastating news that is i said i will have to get that test under anesthesia which freaks me out and i hate it um this week isabella had three appointments or sessions or whatnot um, if you will, she turn went right to the OT, road, then turn left. she went to the physical therapy, and then she came, I mean, then at home, she had an appointment with a lady from the school district for her to start school, because it's something that would definitely benefit her. I don't, I don't like square, but sometimes I have to. Um, Turn left on Darnish. They're trying Street. to make her um, get in, in school, which I think is something good, right? Like a young age, but. This is my morning coffee in a rush. So, with the uh, physical therapist. Actually, she had four appointments now that I remember. With the physical therapist, they check her hips, they check um, her movement, her gross, um, motricity. And she was okay. However, the, the therapist said that she had some weird false increases where, that were not aligned. Therefore, um, that means that she would she could have something going on which i really do do In not agree turn turn left yeah uh, the doctor didn't agree either because that same day i had to go to my primary care provider for her to um get a referral for her speech therapy because um it has to go through insurance, it's not provided by regional center or by the school district, so I have to go through my insurance with just TRICARE, as all military people. And so I went there, she got the referral for the speech pathology department, and she's going to be seen whenever these assholes uh, decide it's a good time to call me. And so I'm waiting on the phone call. Then, for me day, a beautiful, glorious moment happened. Isabella was playing with her um, occupational therapist because she's first the sessions. How they go is at first they build trust, then miles. they start getting Keep the treatment left. because Wide, I mean, they have to trust this person first. So um, Isabella starts playing with this lady and pointing at lights, like Christmas lights that they have there and Isabel has never ever ever in her life pointed at anything anything so I was like oh my goodness like almost like if I, I've seen Santa or something uh, then um, they were playing like peekaboo with a scarf or like um, some sort of handkerchief but not a see-through and we're different colors and Isabella would grab the thing and put it back on the lady's face something that she wouldn't ever in my life do 
Like, oh my god, my baby wants to interact. Oh my goodness. So, it was a very magical moment that we shared. And the lady gathered some information about Isabella's nutrition, what she likes, what she dislikes, what she, how she prefers to eat, if she drinks her alcohol, bottles, if got whatnot. And then, uh, Thursday, I was supposed to get my workout, but I didn't because... I was feeling like crap. Yeah, I was not feeling that hot. I mean, a little under the weather, but it's okay. Mama can get feel sick and miss her appointments. However, Mama cannot miss Isabella's appointments, right? So that basically that's what happened. I. go to my workout but I'm intending on going tomorrow and I am so excited because tomorrow they're having a karaoke uh, thing like a ladies night and oh my goodness this is so exciting right it's it would be like my second um, moment of partying here in the USA and I live here like two years three years almost and I've never partied in my life I've always been to houses and stuff like that but never like really like going to a club but not and it's my first time in a karaoke so I'm super excited I picked out some outfits and I ordered them and uh, getting the spins on because oh my god after my baby my tummy is not cute I mean it's still toned but not but it's it was a I'll make a video about it. I'll show you. I have no no shame at all. It's my body and I love it. So um, tomorrow will be a super fun day. Today Ryan's arriving from his underway, so he's gonna be able to babysit. And I'm spinning. Yes, I'm spinning. Day. It wasn't so sad at all, and I wasn't that. You know, I gave myself permission to eat because I, w I was on my period, and it turned out that I didn't feel that tired. You've left on your Wi-Fi side. Maybe I should increase the uh, uh, the food, more protein, more, more like healthy protein. I'm trying to lose weight a little, just just like eight pounds because what, that's uh, how much I gain when I we transitioned from Hawaii to San Diego, living in that hotel, you know. Yummy food. Left and well, yeah, basically that. So thank you guys for subscribing, for watching my videos, for leaving comments below. I really appreciate that and I adore whatever you do that. So thank you and I'll reply back because that's my thing. I like to um, interact with my subscribers and I have Facebook now. So I have Twitter account. I actually have a Tumblr but I don't use it. I have Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, so you, you can get a hold of me. Soon I'll have Snapchat. I need to get on that. Thing. and we'll be able to be even more connected and close and you can keep an eye on Isabella's uh, development and we're just being oh and I forgot oh silly me yesterday the lady from the school district came to my house with a nurse because we're trying to get her in school twice a week so they came here with the nurse and the nurse was gathering information about her diet, about her health, about my pregnancy, about like her hearing, her eyesight, and basically anything that they could like use in school that they should know, any diagnosis, whatnot. And also they asked me for my car seat information because Isabella might be able to ride a bus if I need to. I just need to provide a car seat for them. So that's it. I thought that was like super cool that um, they 
they take care of children that much in Chile is just, just a mess. Children, if children, I mean in Chile, if children are alive, it's a miracle because they don't look as the children, not even as close as they do here. Like I've known of children dying inside of cars because people forget them inside and they're like strapped to the car seat. And there is something else. In Chile, people are not used to having their children strapped on a car seat. They try to enforce that law and I don't think it's going well because in Chile, due to gas, gas is really expensive. Nope, nope. Um, people have this hatchback type of cars, like very cheap. And sometimes they have like three children, but not. But. Um, yeah, so uh, now they're trying to enforce it. Like, if your child is like 12, they need a booster seat, but not, and be in the back of the car. But people are like, dude, I have three children, I can, and I have this type of car. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah. I agree. Why are you doing this to people? Because wages are just so low and pitiful. At least here, people like if you're if you paint houses, you can make a living. In Chile, if you paint houses, you're basically paid a tip and a stack tip. So I wish things were better there, but I understand when people. Um, are not happy and complain because the circumstances are not very favorable for them. Oh, it's just a shame. I, I'm grateful that I'm here, but I feel sad that I'm getting this and they're not. I wish that life was fair and everyone in the world be able to have a better life opportunity. Yeah, world peace. So I'm gonna let you go guys because forget people keep bubbling for yourselves keep bubbling for other people keep bubbling keep doing your thing keep pushing yourself go to that inner strength that you have your source of energy your gods trust in yourself and you're beautiful you're beautiful in any way because you were born this way, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.